Fist, do you want to kick us off from the BBC, please? Hi. Hello, Wayne. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, first of all, how did you find out about what Josh did on Sunday? Yeah, look, it uh, came to our attention on our first day back um, from a, a day and a half off uh, internally, and um, it was dealt with pretty swiftly. Uh, we just spoke to Josh, and uh, Josh uh, told us uh, what uh, what had uh, transpired, and um, obviously from our point of view, it's it's breached team protocols, it's uh, breached uh, the Six Nations protocols, and, and obviously uh, the lockdown rules. So, um, you know, we've been through a thorough uh, education process with the players and management. Um, and from our point of view, uh, it, pu it put uh, others at risk potentially. So um, it was dealt with uh, by way of suspension. How did you find out, Wayne? Uh, just generally within our own group. Just to, just to clarify, did Josh train yesterday then as well before you found out? Uh, yeah, it came to our attention yesterday um, after training and uh, as soon as it came to our attention, um, we spoke to the player and he was um, upfront and honest and uh, realised the mistake he had made and um, as I say, we, we moved pretty swiftly to, uh, to put this to bed as quickly as we could and, uh, and wanted to put it out there um, because it's, it's something that's very topical, it's in the community and uh, we have to be seen to be doing our bit. Um, as leaders um, and, and role models. What sort of event was it that you, that you attended on Sunday? Yeah, look, it was just a close family um, at a family member's home, um, not too far from his own home, but uh, it was in breach of the rules. And it was a, a family milestone, which you're very proud of, but um, unfortunately it, it is in breach of the rules. Once you find that out, what do you have to do in terms of testing the squad? You know, has been in close contact with people. What's the process after that? Yeah, so everybody um, had been tested. The results came through this morning. Uh, and uh, we had 100% uh, negative testing. Uh, we've got testing again tomorrow. Uh, and those results should come through tomorrow night or uh, Friday. So, um, you know, fingers and toes crossed that those are 100% negative as well. In which case, Josh will, Josh will rejoin the side uh, on Monday. Just, uh, is he missing the first two games? Is that correct? Yes, it is. And are you, are you confident he hasn't put the sort of the, the fixture in danger or the other guys in danger? Yeah, as, as I say, we're, so we're now going through that process. We've, we've gone through the, the ordinary testing that we do at the start of the week, and that's been 100% uh, negative. Um, the next stage is to get the second lot of testing done, which is already in place. Uh, that comes through negative, then uh, I think we're all in the clear. Josh has been a bit of a model professional for you, it's fair to say, Wayne, over the last couple of years. How has he reacted? What, what was his reaction? Yeah, one of very, very much disappointment on his own behalf, realised that he'd made a mistake, error in judgment, um, was very honest and upfront straight away, as you'd expect, and uh, put his hand up, was just basically apologising to the team. And uh, as you've seen in, in the comments he's made, he, he wants to apologise uh, to everybody uh, that supports Welsh rugby um, because he realised he, he's made a foolish mistake. Given the fact that you recorded no test in the autumn when you were together for two months, uh, this is the first perhaps major blip that you've had on, on that. How much are you disappointed as a coach that it's happened just before the first game? Yeah, look, we're all very disappointed and that's why we've dealt with it as quickly as we have and as seriously as we have. We've taken it very seriously um, and we think that it's the only, only result that was possible. And, uh, you know, it's been explained to the team uh, what's happened, um, what we've done uh, and... Uh, you know, we've trained accordingly today. And just as said, nobody coming in, you've obviously got Liam Williams suspended for the first game. You, you're confident with what you've got there for the, uh, for the wing positions? Yeah, we have. We've got a couple of options. Um, you know, obviously we've got George North, we've got Helen Amos, uh, we've got uh, Louis Rees Zammett, and obviously we've got um, some midfielders there that uh, have been training very well. So we, we've got options there. Distance. It was at a, at a family member's home um, and it was a a very quiet celebration. Um, as far as I'm aware, there was no alcohol involved. Uh, it was a celebration in terms of family members getting together for something special that's happened. And uh, we'll leave that part um, to the family. Sure. Just in terms of your own personal reaction, um, Josh has been a very good player for Wales and for you and scored loads of tries. Um, I mean, he's let you down here, hasn't he? He has, and that's why um, he's obviously breached the, the protocols and we've taken the, the action that we have and, and we do that with any player and that was spelt out uh, right at the start of the campaign. It was, it was spelt out uh, before the autumns 
um, that, you know, there is zero tolerance for this sort of thing, but it's, it's you know, COVID is a serious, serious um, uh, pandemic that is, that everyone has to deal with on a daily basis. So it's, uh, it was disappointing, sure. Um, but we all know Josh is a, is, a, is a very, very good individual and the way he reacted and the way he has handled this um, since we, uh, we sat him down has been, um, has been pretty positive. Obviously, you've banned him for those first two matches and then there'll be a fallow week. Um, how much is he going to have to do to get back in the squad ahead of that England game, having made this mistake? Because he got a hell of a lot to prove now. I mean, it's not just, obviously, his talent is exceptional on the field, but it's this off-the-field trust thing now. Yeah, look, he's... Uh, you know, I don't want to downplay anything here, but, um, you know, he, he has been up front with us. He has... Um, made an error in judgment and he's very, very remorseful. Uh, he can't do any more than apologise um, and take it on the chin. You know, he's embarrassed himself. Um, he's had to leave the team um, and he will do his penance at home through until Monday. Uh, he'll miss the first test. Uh, he won't be with the team for that test. Uh, he will join us Monday and help prepare the boys that will be selected for the Scotland test and uh, he won't be up for selection on that. So, look, I think... Um, you know, I don't think any more could be done. I think it's been dealt with very positively by the union. Um, Six Nations have given us their full support on the way we've dealt with it. And I think uh, now for us and, and, and as a team, it's sad for Josh, but we move on and uh, we get excited about um, the opportunity to get kick, kick off the Six Nations back at the stadium where we trained today and, and really enjoyed being there. So that's, that's now um, uppermost on our minds going forward. Just one more, if that's okay. Um... Are you going to revise your policy now on allowing players the, those little chances? I know they're few and far between, but those small chances they've got to go home based on this breach. Or are you confident now that you've come down hard on Josh and that will send a message out to everyone to behave when they are allowed those little days that they can go home? Yeah, well, I think the message went out at the start of the competition as to how we deal with any breaches. Uh, we've dealt with it exactly how we said we would. Um, that should be a lesson to everybody. But... Um, you know, I think uh, we've got to treat these guys as, as adults, which they are, and they're professional rugby players. Um, you know, it is a very, very long time to lock people away in a hotel. And, uh, you know, I think everybody came back really refreshed. We've come back with 100% negative uh, results from our testing. So I think we've been very, very good. And there, there's this one breach. And uh, as I say, it's very unfortunate. Hi, Wayne Simon, yeah. Simon. As a coach, mate, you have to deal with lots of different things, don't you? But what was the first thing that went through your head when you were told? Yeah, well, we were, we were doing a, a, an exercise as a, as a team and uh, yeah, head of medical, um, Prav, and uh, team manager, Martin Williams, uh, came across and, and had a quiet word. And yeah, it's, it's sort of, you know, we've got a, a saying within the group around COVID and, and, and this pandemic that... Uh, you know, it's going to throw us in a bit of chaos from time to time and it's, we have to change things that we do every now and then. It's, it's how we adapt and I think this is just another case of how um, management have to adapt um, and uh, certainly it does test us from time to time but certainly uh, we've worked very closely together in a short space of time, uh, as I say, with the union and the Six Nations to, to get this dealt with quickly.